Thank you, Father. Good morning, George. I think that's a nice day. Yeah. I'm glad to see you here. Mm-hmm. Nope. Yeah. That's true, isn't it? So true. 
Uh, what I can do is, uh, there you go, it's better. No, no, I mean, I mean, it stays up, Stephen. It stays up. It's just that as I add things to it, you just you push it down. Yeah, you, you hit it and push it down. Um, well, it's supposed to be. Uh, it's okay. That's all right. Yeah, the only thing we could do is put this tape on it, baby. We'll put this, we'll put this tape on it. It's it, a high theme on it, but then you won't be able to move it. No. That's good. See, it's looser down, the lower, the lower it goes. Yeah. Um, it's okay. It's all right. Okay. I just thought, well, I'll go ahead and. Yep. Okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. I'll put my little thing back up. Yeah, take care of that then. They're handy. They're handy. What? They're handy. Thank you. 
Susan. Uh, Demetrius was kind enough to share me his YouTube of the Easter egg hunt, and I put it on the website homepage. It's about seven minutes long. It's really good. Thank you all again for doing that. Reverend to the ages of ages, Christos Anesti Eknekron, Thanato Thanaton, Patisas Ketisetis Nimasi, Doin Harisam. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered and let those who hate him flee from before his face. So let them vanish as wax melts before the fire. Oh. 
Shall the sinners perish from the face of God and let the righteous be glad? To the Father and to the Son of the Holy Spirit. Christ is risen from the dead, by death trampling down upon death, and to those in the tombs he has granted life. Both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Ye perti serinis tu sembandos kos nefstatias ton aion tu tu eklision kisis ton banu nosius tu kiriu dei thomen. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Archbishop Alexius, for the Honorable President, for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the Holy and Great Church of Christ, for a Holy Archdiocese, for the city and parish, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Amen. For the Holy Spirit of the Lord. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Be prepared to receive the name of the Que é por tu apilunto se mas limu tu coronil tu queriu dei tomen. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, 
Eftus Carlilus Kepas, Antin Zoinimon, Christotter Operatomaton. Sing To you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Ec neotitos mu pola polemi me pathi, since my youth have many passions wage war against me, O oh, my Savior, nonetheless help and save me. Os hortos garpiri, es este apexirameni. Since the haters of Zion be put to shame by the Lord, for like that in fire you will be completely dried up. Doxa patrike ioke agio pneumati, agio pneumati pasa psichizo ute, Ke kathasi ipsute labrinete, ti triadi ki monadi ni erokripios. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. From the Holy Spirit to the streams of grace, well forth they irrigate. Everything created so that life be engendered. Vicios os phoenix anthese que os ikedros y en tolibano plithisete. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall be multiplied like the cedar in Lebanon. Befitib meni en to iko kiriu, en disables to the human exanthinusen, dike os osi phoenix anthese, ke osi kedros en to libano plinthisete. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are holy, our God, who rests among the saints, and to you we give glory to the Father and to the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let us pray the Lord our God that we may be worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Sophia Orthia Kusana Twayu Evangelio Irini Pasi. Ectu Gata Lucana Yu Evangelio Twanagnosma. Proskomen. Doxa si kirie, doxa si. Ipen o kirius si seaf tu matites prosekite apoton anthropon, epivalusigar efimas tasiris afton kerioxusi, paradidondes is sinagogas ke filakas agomenus, epivasilis ke ie monas eneken tu onomatosmu, Apovisa te de imin is martirion, deste un istas cardia simon, mim proneletan apologitine, e voga dosos imin stoma que sofian, e udin ison de atipin, ude antistine pandas i antikimeni imin, para do visas te de que hipogoneon, que sinec, singenon, que filon, que adelfon, Que dinato susin eximon, que es este misumeni, hipopandon diato onomamu, que trix extis kefalisimon, umia polite enti pomonimon, actis atste taspikasi himon. The readings from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. 
The Lord said to his disciples, Beware of men who will lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and prisons, and you will be brought before kings and governors for my name's sake. This will be a time for you to bear testimony. Settle it therefore in your minds not to meditate beforehand how to answer, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom which none of your adversaries will be able to withstand or contradict. You will be delivered up even by parents and brothers and kinsmen and friends, and some of you they will put to death. You will be hated by all for my name's sake, but not a hair of your head will perish. By endurance you will gain your lives. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Heaven, be killed the resurrection of Christ. Let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only Son of One. Your cross of Christ we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God. Apart from you we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, O faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessed in the Lord, let us praise his resurrection, for having endured the cross for us, he destroyed <coughs> death by death. Doxa Patrice, O Ke Agio Pnevati, Testo Athloporu Presvies, Eleimon, Exalipson Tapliti, Tonemon, Eglimaton. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, Amen. At the intercession of the Theotokos, O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. E frantis te dicio sentirio que li pie bapton, que penitis on de pandes y eficienti cardia. Si meroni kumeni pasa, tis tis atloporo avgazete atisi. Que itu Christu eclisia tina, tis i orizomeni, georgie voasi. Será pon Cristo que prostata termotate, mi elipis pris bebis y perimon proskirion. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable and glorious prophet of Runner John the Baptist, of the holy glorious and praise with the apostles, our fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius Sir and John, the merciful patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Miras, Bidilon, Bishop of Timipus, Nicotus, Pentapolis, the Wonder Workers, of the Holy Glorious Great Martyrs, Demetrius, the Leader of Letis, the Leader of Tyre, Theodore, the Commander, with Manas, the Wonder Worker, the Higher Martyrs, the Lombos, and Eleftherios, the Holy Glorious and Victorious Martyrs, the Glorious Great Martyr, and all audible Ephemia, the Holy and Glorious Martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriki, Fotini, Marina, Pariskivi, and Irene, of our Holy and God-bearing Fathers of St. Christ, the Martyr, and of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim, and Anna, and of the holy and glorious great martyr George the trophy bearer, and also Saint Mark the apostle and evangelist whose memory we celebrate, and of all your saints we beseech you, only most merciful Lord, hear us sinners who pray to you and have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Through the mercy, compassion, and love of mankind, of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, 
together your holy, good, and life-giving spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Προλαβούσα τον όρθρον επέρι Μαριάμ και ευρούσε τον λίθον από κυλιστέντα του μνήματος οίκον εκ του αγγέλου τον ενφωτίε δύο υπάρχοντα με τα νεκρόν τι ζητείτε ο άνθρωπον. Βλέπετε τα εντάφια σπάργανα, δράμετε και το κόσμο κηρύξατε ως ηγέρθη ο Κύριος θανατός σας των θάνατων ότι υπάρχει Θεού Υιός του σώζοντος το γένος των ανθρώπων. Του σώζοντος το γένος των ανθρώπων. Through you went down into the tomb, O immortal one, yet you brought down the dominion of Hades, and you rose as the victor of Christ our God, and you call our rejoice to the mere-bearing women, and gave peace to your apostles, O Lord, who to the fallen grand resurrection. Ο Λόρκου του δε πόλεν γραντ ρεζορέκτιον. Τον προνηλίου, ήλιον δυνατά ποτέ εν τάφο προέφθασαν προς όρθρον, εξητούσε ως ημέραν, μυροφόρη κόρε και προς ελίλα σαβεών. Ω φίλε, δεύτε της αρώμασι, υπαλείψομεν, σώμα ζωηφόρον και τεθαμένον, σάρκα ανιστώσαν τον παραπεσόντα Αδάμ, κείμενον εν το μνήματι, άγομεν, σπεύσομεν, ως περιμάγι, και προσκυνήσομεν και προσκομίσομεν τα μοίρα ως δώρα, το μίαν σπαργάνης, αλεν συνδόνιαν ηλιμένο, και κλάψομεν και κράξομεν, ο δέσποδα εξεγέρθητη, ότι σπεσούσι παρέχον ανάστασιν. Ότι σπεσούσι παρέχον ανάστασιν. When you were tilled by God, you proved yourself clearly to be very worthy a tiller of piety, for you had gathered in the sheaves of virtues for yourself. Having sowed the seeds of tears, you now reap the rejoicing, contending to the point of blood you won Christ as your trophy, and by your intercessions you, O saint, provide forgiveness of trespasses unto all. O saint, provide forgiveness of trespasses unto all. Τον υπερκόσμο της ζωής την ψυχήν αυτού θέντα, Χριστόν τον Βασιλέα, ποθών ο στρατιώτης, ο Μέγας Γεώργιος, σπεύδει θανήν υπέρ αυτού, Ζήλων γαρθίων εν καρδία εσχικός, αυτό σε αυτόν προσήγαγε. Τούτο νουν και εμείς ανυμνήσομεν πίστη, ως θερμόν προστάτην ημών, ως ένδοξον όντα Χριστού δούλων, μιμούμενον σαφώς των ιδίων δεσπότην, και ετούντα αυτόν πάση παρέσχει πτεσμάτων συγχώρησιν. Πάση παρέσχει πτεσμάτων συγχώρησιν. On April 25th we commemorate the Holy Apostle and Evangelist Mark. On this day, we commemorate the consecration of the August Shrine of the Holy and non lauded Permanent Apostle Peter. On this day, we also commemorate our Father among the Saints Macedonios, Patriarch of Constantinople. On this day, we also commemorate the Holy Woman Martyr Nikki. On this day, we also commemorate the Holy Eight Monastic Martyrs who were hermits. On this day, we commemorate the Holy and Glorious Great Martyr George the Trophy Bearer. By the intercession of your Saints of God, Have mercy on us, Amen. Heaven beheld the resurrection of Christ. Let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only Son, is one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate. Your holy resurrection, we praise and glorify. For you are our God. Apart from you, we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever bless on the Lord. Let us praise His resurrection. For heaven endured the cross for us. He destroyed death by death. Jesus heaven risen from the grave as he foretold, has granted us eternal life and great mercy. Anastasia Osimera Lambritomen Lai, Pasca Kiriu Pasca, Egatanatu Prozoi, Ke Egis Prosuranon, Christos of Theos. Η μας διεβίβας εν επίνη κι ονάδοντας. Come and let us drink a new drink, not one marvelously issuing from a barren rock, but one that cries from the tomb pours out in corruption's very source, for we are established in him. Επί της Θείας φυλακής ο Θεόγωρος Αβακού, στήτω με θεμόν και δείχνει το φαϊσπόρον άγγελο. 
Dia precios levanta, si me ronzo diría tu cosmo, o ti anesti Christos os pando dinamo. Arising at dawn very early, instead of ointment a him let us offer unto the Master, and then we shall clearly see Christ the Son of Righteousness causing true life to arise for all. Και τριήμερος ο Σικήτος Ιωνάς εξ ανέστης του τάχου. The same one who delivered the lads from fire, becoming a mortal man, suffers in the flesh, and by his passion he arrays mortal nature with majesty free of all corruption. The only God of the fathers, blessed and supremely glorious. Enumen eblogumen ke proskinumen ton kirion, apikliti ke agian imera, imia ton sabaton i vasilis ke kiria, e orton e orti ke panigiris esti panigirion. En i e blogumen Christon istus eonas. Tinter to kon kemi tere tu fotos en in misti monden smegalinomen. Megalinon psichimu ton etilosios pathonda και τα πέντα και εξαναστάντα τριήμερον εκτάφου. Φωτίζου, φωτίζου, τη νέα Ιερουσαλήμ, τη γαδόξα Κυρίου επί σε ανέτηλε, πορευενήν και αγαουσιών, Si de agnite puteo toque, en ti eyesi tu toku su. O mai so magnifai crais, puite gi vero plai, en puros from the grave in after day. Arai, shine, arai, shine, O New Jerusalem, shine, for the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Zion is God and be glad, O pure mother of God, rejoice, celebrate him, the resurrection of Christ your Son. Christos to kenon pascha, to zodotion tima, amnuse oso eron kinamartia tu kosmu. O tia to filis, o glikita to sufonis, me timon apsezon ga, epi gilo esese, Μέχρι τη μάθον Ιόνι ως Χριστέ Είναι η πιστή να γυράν ελπίδος Κατέχονται σ' αγαλό μέσα Στο day creation All is exalting dream rejoice For Christ has risen And takes what's despoiled O Pascha, the great Emos, at Katapa, sovero Christ, you the wisdom and logos, and the power of God, grant that we may more distinctly partake of you on the day that is no even your kingly rule. 
Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. For all the powers of heaven praise you, and to you we offer up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> 
ο βασιλεύς και κύριος τριήμερος εξ ανέστης Αδάμε γύρας έκτορας και κατά γύσας θάνατο Πάσχα της αψασίας του κόσμου σωτήριον. <coughs> Spring Spring time has shone forth unto us with the divine and brilliant resurrection of Christ the Lord and it transports us from earth unto the heavenly Pascha with which together shines forth the bright and splendid memory of the great and most glorious martyr George. Let us therefore festively celebrate it to be accounted worthy of grace from Jesus the Savior. Σαρκύπνος ασώς νετός, ο βασιλεύς και κύριος, τριήμερος εξ ανέστης, αδάμε γύρας εκτοράς και καταργής ασθάνατον. Πάσχα της αυτασίας του κόσμου σωτήριον. Πασαμνοί ενέσα το τον κυρίων, ενίτε τον κυρίων εκ των ουρανών, ενίτε αυτών εν δισυψιστής, σι πρέπει ύμνος το Θεό ενήτε αυτόν πάντες οι αγγέλοι αυτού ενήτε αυτόν πάσε εδυνάμεις αυτού σι πρέπει ύμνος του πίσεν αυτής κρίμα εγγραπτών, δόξα αυτή έστε πάση της οσής αυτού, πάσα πνοή και πάσα κτήσεις, σε δόξα ζει Κύριε. Ότι δια του σταυρού των θάνατων κατήργησας ή να δείξεις της λαής την εκ νεκρός σου Ανάσταση ως μόνος πιλάνθρωπος. Praise him and his saints, praise him in the ferment of his power. Let the Judeans explain to him how the soldiers lost the king since they were watching, and why did not the stone guard the rock of life? Let them surrender him who was buried, or if he is risen. Let them worship him and say with us, Glory to the abundance of your tender mercy, O our Savior. Glory to you. Ενίτε αυτόν επί της δυνατής δυναστής αυτού, ενίτε αυτόν κατά το πλήθος της μεγαλοσύνης αυτού. Χαίρετε λαοί και αγαλιάστε, 
άγγελος εκάθισε εις τον λίθον του μνήματος. Αυτός εμάς ευαγγελίσα το υπον Χριστός ανέστη εκ νεκρών ο σωτήρ του κόσμου και πλήρωσε τα σύμπαντα ευωδίας χαίρετε λαοί και αγαλιάστε. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the harp and the lyre. An angel before your conception, O Lord, convey the salutation, rejoice to the maiden full of grace. And the angel of your resurrection rolled away the stone of your glorious sepulchre. The one instead of sorrow was disclosed and tokens of gladness, the other instead of death. Proclaim to us the master and giver of life. Therefore we cry aloud to you, benefactor of all, O Lord, Glory to you. And it the afton and for and and the banner ke for all. And it the afton and for the ske organo. The after in panetri on pedron and the son of pastors in pandes. Πάνε γυρίζοντας πάλι νεορτάσομεν, παιδρών πάνε γυρίν γεωργίου του μάρτυρος και στέψομεν τούτο η αρινή σάνθηση όντα αίτητον όπως της αυτού η κεσίας. Λάβομεν το θλίψιον άμα και πλημέμα τον απολύτρωσιν. Praise him with resounding cymbals, praise him with triumphant cymbals, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. As a whole burnt offering, O saint, and a maiden live did you offer, yourself entirely and as an acceptable and most clean sacrifice. O oh, all blessed one unto him who gave you his whole life, therefore you became an earnest interceder for us, rescuing all those who extol you, and with ardent faith call upon you from the storms of life, O holy martyr George. Vicios of the Phoenix and Thesi, Josikedros and Tilibano, please insert the Sporon Georgis as a melos, Don Catafenda to Logo, Tin Catara Subsidi. Τούτον επλειώνα σας πόνος αθλησίως και σοφός αποθέμενος εν επουρανίες. Θήκης την ακύρατον έβρες απόλαυσιν εις νυν εμπορούμενος μάκα. Τες των πρώτων Θεώσου πρεσβείας, τους πιστούς υμνώντας επερεσίζωσε. Those planted in the house of the Lord 
shall blossom for the cause of your God. Martyr, who received the prize from Christ, <coughs> by your intercessions preserve us, who are diversely distressed. Rescue us from every dire and painful circumstance. Drive away terrible and soul-destroying depression. Earnestly beseech that grace and mercy come to us, so that being saved by your prayers, we might all rejoicingly honor the contest you won by faith, O Martyr George. Ανεστήθα το Θεό και διασκοπίστηκαν οι εχθροί αυτού και φυγεθώσαν από προσώπου αυτού οι μισούντε αυτού. Πάσχα η ερώνη σήμερον αναδέδειχνε. Πάσχα κοινών Αγιών, Πάσχα μυστικών, Πάσχα πανσεβάσμιων, Πάσχα Χριστός ο λυτρωτής, Πάσχα αμωμών, Πάσχα μέγα, Πάσχα των πιστών, Πάσχα το πύλα σε μισθού παραδείσου ανοίξαν, Πάσχα πάντες αγιάζων πιστούς. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish, as wax melts before the fire. Come now from that side, O oh you women and heralds of good news, and say to Zion, receive from us the joyful tidings of the resurrection, O Christ. O Jerusalem, the exultant, Dance and leap for joy, for you have witnessed Christ the King coming forth as a bridegroom from the sepulchre. <laughs> Εύρων άγγελων επί των λίθων καθήμενων και αυτός προψαγμένος αυτές ούτως έλεγε Τι ζητείτε τον ζώντα μετά των νεκρών Τι θρυνείτε τον άφθαρτον εν κτυπτορά Απελθούσι κηρύξατε τις αυτού μαθητές this is the day the Lord made. Let us greatly rejoice and be glad therein. Pascha of delight, Pascha the Lord's Pascha. A Pascha will thou venerable has risen for us. Pascha with joy, let us embrace one another. Pascha the ransom from sorrow. Today from the sepulcher, Christ emerged resplendently as from a bridal chamber, and the women he filled with joy, saying, Proclaim this to the apostles. Δεύτερη μυστή 
οικός αυτήν πανηγυρίσομε ούτως γάρ ως καλός στρατιώτης ίνδρίσα το κατά το τυράννο και του της κατήσχυνε. Μιμητής γενόμενο του πάθους του σωτήρους Χριστού Blessed are you, Christ our God, always, now, and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Make firm, Lord our God, the holy and pure faith of the pious Orthodox Christians, together with the Holy Church in this city forever. Glory to you, O Christ our God, glory to you. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all-pure and all-immaculate Holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, of St. Christopher the Martyr, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joy Kimanana, of the holy and glorious great martyr, George the Trophy Bearer, and St. Mark the Apostle and Evangelist, whose memory we celebrate, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for his good. God who loves mankind. Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. Christos Anesti. Christos Voskresi. Christos Voskresi. Christos Voskresi.
Glory to his holy resurrection on the third day. We worship his resurrection on the third day. Christ is risen from the dead by death, trampling upon death, and bestowing life to those in the tombs. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Christos anesti ek nekron thanato, thanaton patisas, ketis endis ni masis oin harisamenos. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. I pay to our episcopimon Alexiu to to me a presbyterio to Sam Christo the Aconius Pandos to Clerico to Lau to Kiriu de Poman. For our country, for the president, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. For the holy and great church of Christ, for this holy metropolis, this parish and city, and for every city and country and the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. I per ev karasia sa erona foriest ron karponti sis ke karoni ni kon tu kiriu dei thoman. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and for the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. On the love of the Lord, 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 for to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Sing to his name, give glory to his praises. Intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Ye pate to Theos, pogorata ergasu. Despres fiestis Theotokos, soter so sonimas. Etiquette in the Nitkiriu de Fomen. 
Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, blessed, and glorious Lord, ladies of Jotopus and our Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in a whole life to Christ our heart, God. May his cross, his face to shine upon us and have mercy on us. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead, we sing to you, Alleluia. Tu gnos en ti gitin i donsu en pasi ethnes et ton sotiri osu. So soni masi etheu, o anastas eknekron, salon dasi alleluia. Loxa patrikeo, kea eo plemati, en in kea i, teis tu se onastone onon ani. Μονογενήσιος Σταυρωθήστε Χριστέ ο Θεός, θανάτω θάνατον πατήσας. Ίσον της Αγίας Τριάδος, συντόξα ζωμένος στο Πατρί και το Αγίο Πνεύματι, σώσον Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Andi lavu sos, ona leisun, ke dia filix, ona masu, the osti si chariti. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and the Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For you, O God, are good and love mankind. You we offer glory to the Father and to the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let God arise and let his enemies be scarred, and let them that hate him flee from before him. Just once. once. Bless is the entrance of your holy people, always, now, and forever, the age of ages. Amen. Sophia, oh, Horthy, and your choirs, bless the Lord, you of Israel's wellspring. Save us, O Son of God, who did rise from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. Christos anesti ek nekron, Thanato, thanaton, patisas, ketis, and isni, basi, zoin, harisamenos. 
There's smoke upon us, there's litter than bonnie, there's watch belts before the fire. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Into the grave you descended, immortal one, yet you destroyed the power of Hades. And as victor you arose, O Christ our God, you proclaim to the myrrh-bearing women a greeting of joy. You brought peace to your holy apostles, and to the fallen you granted resurrection. To kitty with a thorn. For you are God, are holy, and to you we offer glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. I implore soldiers and baptisms, Christ, to put on Christ, hallelujah. Amen. 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 Σοφία, πράξιον των Αποστόλων το ανάγνωσμα, πρόσκομεν, εν τις ημέρες εκείνης κατά βάση Πέτρος προς τους άντρας, τους απεσταλμένους από το Κορνιλίο προς αυτόν είπε, «Εδού εγώ εμή ον ζητείτε, τι σήκει εδίν παράσετε». Δε είπον, Κορνίλιος εκατοντάρχης ανήλδικιος και φοβούμενος των Θεών, μαρτυρούμεν ώστε από όλου του έθνος των Ιωδίων, με χρηματίστη υπό Αγγέλου Αγίου, με τα ψευθέσαστε εις τον οίκον αυτού και ακούτε ρήματα παρασού. 
Εις καλεσμένος ούνα τους εξένησε, τη δίε παύριον εξ αναστάς εξήλθεν συναυτής, κοίτενε στον αδελφό, το από τους σιώπης συνήλθεν αυτό, και την επαύριον εισήλθεν εις την Κεσάρια. Ο δε Κορνήλιος ειν προς το φόν αυτού συγκαλεσάμενος, του συγγενείς αυτού και τους αναγκαίους φίλους. Ως δε γένετο το εισελθήν των Πέτρων, συνηγήσας αυτόν ο Κορνήλιος πεσόν επί τα σπόδας προς εκείνησεν. Ο δε Πέτρος αυτόν ήγερη λέγον, Ανάστατη, καγό αυτός άνθρωπος εμή. Και συνεμελών αυτό εισήλθεν, και βρίσκεν αντιληφτή σα πολλού έφη προ αυτά σημείν επίσωστε αναθεμάτων. Εστίν ανρίου δε ο κολάστε ή προσέρχεστε άλλο φίλο. Και μη ο Θεό έδεξεν μηδένα και νόνα κάθερτον λέγεν άνθρωπο. Διό και αναντηρήτω ήρθον ο μεταμπτή. Πεντήσε μενούν τι λόγια μετεπέμψαμεντε. Και Κορνήλιο έφυγε από τη τάρτη ημέρα μέχρι τα αυτή τη ώρα. Είμαι νηστεύον και την ενάτη ώρα προσεπόμενο εν το οίκο μου. Και δού ανήλθε η έστεν οπειόν μου εν εστί λαμπρά. Ελεημοσύνη σε μνήστε σαν ενώπιον του Θεού. Πέμψον ουν ει σιόπιν και με τα καλέ σα σήμερα ω επικαλείται πέτρο. Αυτό ξενίζεται εν τη αιτία Σίμων ω Βερσαίο παρά θάλασσα, ω παραγενόμενο λαλίσισε. Εξ αυτή σου νέπεμψα προ σε, σι τι καλό ποιή σα παραγενόμενο, νυν ει πάντα σε μη σαν όπεν το Θεού, παρέσμα νεακούσε πάντα τα προστόγματα σου. Υπό το Θεού. Let us be attentive. The righteous I rejoice in the Lord. Hear my voice, O Lord. Wisdom. The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Let us be attentive. About that time, Herod the king laid violent hands upon some who belonged to the church. He killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And when he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. This was during the days of unleavened bread, and when he seized him, he put him in prison and delivered four squads of soldiers to guard him, intending that after Passover to bring him out to the people. So Peter was kept in prison, but earnest prayer for him was made to God by the church. The very night that Herod was about to bring him out, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains, and the sentries before the door were guarding the prison. And behold, an angel of the Lord appeared, and a light shone in the cell. And he struck Peter on the side and woke him, saying, Get up quickly. And the chains fell off his hands. And the angel said to him, Wrap your mantle around yourself and follow me. And he went out and followed him. He did not know what was if what was being done was by an angel was real, but thought he might be seeing a vision. When they first passed the, they passed the first gate and then the second guard, and they came to the iron gate leading into the city, it opened to them of its own accord, and they went out and passed on through the streets, and immediately the angel left him. And Peter came to himself and said, Now I am sure that the Lord has sent an angel and rescued me from the hand of Herod and from all the Jewish people who were expecting. Peace be to you, the readers. Wisdom, let us stand, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Hector Katai Iwan in a Yuvangeli to an agnosma proscomen. Theon Udis Eoraka Popete, O Monogenisios, On Easton Copon to Patros, Equinos Exigisato. 
ke afti est in immateria tu iuanu o te apestilan iurve i ex ierusolom ierosolimun ieris ke leitas ina erotiso sin afton sitisi ke amolo Ise ke uk irnisato ke moloison oti ukimi e wo Christos ke rotisan afton ti un Ilius isi ke legi ukime o profites isi ke u ipon un afto ti is ina apokrisin domen ti spemsa sin imas ti leis peris aftu efi e wofoni vondos entri ori erimo eftina teton odon kiriu kathosi pen isaies o profitis ki apestameni isan ekton feliseon ke irotisan aton ke ipon avto ti un vaptizis isi u ki o Christos u te Ilias u te profitis apikrithi aptisoi vanis legon e wo baptizo en idati mesos theimon estiken on imis uk idate aftos estin opiso mu er homenos os embrosten mu iagonen u ewo uk imi axios in aliso aftu toni manda tu ipodimatos tafta en vitania e ienet operan tu eo dolanu Opu in Ioannis Baptison. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. No one has ever seen God, the only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of the Father. He has made him known. And this is the testimony of John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed. He did not deny, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. They said to him then, Who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, Then why are you baptizing if you are neither the Christ, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but among you stands one whom you do not know. Even he who comes after me, the thong of whose sandal I am not worthy to untie. This took place in Bethany beyond the Jordan, where John was baptizing. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy name day, George. And Georgia. Thank you for your prayers and well wishes. We have other Georges that are not able to be with us today. And we have at least one other Georgia uh, that has joined our parish. So we give thanks to God for their collective efforts supported by you. And we pray for many years of good health and joy. How about Marks? We have Marks. It's their name day too. You know, sometimes uh, people forget that every day there is a commemoration of a saint. Every 25th of April, we remember, and I put his icona out, it usually hangs up there. So if you're wondering where that is, well, it went down here because I wanted to lift up the 
memory of the Apostle and the Evangelist Mark. Let's start with him since he lived closer to the time of Christ and we're celebrating Christ's resurrection. So Mark was an interesting person because he was not an original disciple. Or was he? Raise your hand if you know. He wasn't. There's another person that wasn't an original disciple who's an evangelist. For extra help, you can look at the three remaining icons of the evangelist. Bravo, Susan. Luke, I think there's a lesson there that on this first day after we celebrate the resurrection, we see the word of God and the power of his authority being spread to those who may never have met him, and two of these, Luke and Mark, whose memory we especially remember today, became not only apostles, people that were anointed by God to go and preach and teach and baptize, but likewise to be an evangelist. Yesterday, it was such a privilege, we had 15, we had more than 15 uh, readers because we had 15 languages, but we probably had 20 readers. Apparently there was confusion about people. When I signed people up, I said, now you have to work it out with your co-readers <laughs> to be together. And apparently some thought I was going to do everything. Remember my sermon on Friday? I've gone through my hardest graduate class, which was learning how to work in groups. And the first lesson I shared is you cannot do everything for everybody all the time. At worst, you suffer the consequences of people who may not have fulfilled their expectations of potential, but on the other hand, you learn. And I think that's what was happening with Luke and Mark and so many others at the time of Christ. They were used to doing it their way and another way, and then all of a sudden the Word of God comes into their life and shows them a better way, a way that doesn't judge or condemn, a way that doesn't criticize, a way that overcomes obstacles. And so St. Mark wrote a very simple gospel. Many people considered him not as educated because the uh, 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 Greek that he used in his uh, um, uh, uh, gospel is not as academically sophisticated as that, say, of St. Matthew. But that doesn't mean that he's second class in any respect. For students of New Testament interpretation and uh, um, uh, uh, exegesis, it makes it difficult because his style of Greek is not as often found in other parts of the early writings, so there's less of some of the things that he wrote about than others. But he was a student of two significant, well, three significant apostles, beginning with Paul. And remember, Paul wasn't a follower of Jesus to start with. He became acquainted and uh, clung to God for the rest of his life. Uh, but Mark accompanied Paul. There's one other apostle that traveled different places for missionary journeys. Anybody remember his name? I'll give you a hint. His parish celebrates their name day tomorrow. Barnabas. Father Barnabas Bravo. You always pray for him. You always, that's who you asked me to pray for, right? I hope so. Father Barnabas, one of my brother priests, uh, has a beautiful name. When he became Orthodox, he took that name. And uh, now as a fully ordained priest, he's an excellent uh, homilist and uh, witness. And uh, I always tell him, your name fits you very well with your gifts that God has blessed you with. But remember, God blesses us with gifts, and we don't always offer them. We don't always use them. Many people have talents that we are quietly behind the scenes always trying to get to realize their potential, offer. And by that I'm not talking about money. I'm really talking about their uh, gifts of their uh, uh, academic learning, uh, perhaps their uh, uh, wonderful teaching abilities. As we think about Christ leaving the church in the hands of those he taught, he didn't require perfection, he just asked for obedience to the teachings of God. And the teachings of God 
even if you weren't Christian, are often considered ethical and moral and good. So there are many people who have those characteristics that don't profess to be Christians. But I think that the thing that struck me when I realized that St. Mark was going to be remembered today in addition to St. George is I wanted to just lift up some ordinary things about him so that you could understand if what's holding you back in your relationships with other people or your work or your family, maybe we are using the wrong, wrong role models. We're using individuals that are so publicly and famously known and their accomplishments oftentimes exceed their ability to have even delivered what people say. And that's true of St. George, by the way. There are many legends about St. George, uh, and that's why some of the grandiose legends cause people to say, mm, you know, not a significant individual, but we as Orthodox know that he was. St. George, now fast forward to um, the third century. He lived most of his life towards the end of the uh, third century, early fourth, uh, he had Christian parents. He was raised in present-day Turkey. Uh, his father was a Christian. His father was martyred as a Christian. His mother then returned to her native Palestine, and she had a farm there. And then he caught the eye of the emperor, and he was promoted progressively through the Roman army. Uh, he never kept it a secret that he was a Christian, but he didn't really uh, have to because during uh, the Emperor Decius, who uh, ruled for much of his young life as he was rising through the ranks of the Roman army to become, as I said yesterday, the trophy bearer, the banner, the, the, the uh, emblem of the emperor as they rode into battle. He's called a heliarch. The Greek word means a thousand helia. Uh, he was over a thousand soldiers. That, they, that's how they did their regiments is in thousands, and so he was given that. Um, but the emperor, um, Diocletian, who really was impressed with George, uh, never really persecuted Christians until, and now I have to slip in a little saying that my professor in undergraduate school, uh, who was a chemistry professor, he said, George, don't try to fix things that aren't broken. I only remember this story because last night uh, we ate late and uh, I used the word osmosis and uh, one of my family members was asking me for clarification. But uh, in, grad in undergraduate school, I was responsible for a machine that measured the osmometry, the level of the fluid going from here to there through a barrier. That barrier was part of the original space shuttle. The professor I worked with uh, had a research grant from NASA at Langley. So it was impressive. And we were getting phenomenal readings, but he had told me, George, once a month, we've got to change the membrane to get the best readings. So like clockwork, I follow recipes usually. Um, I did that, and then he came in and said, oh, you didn't change that thing, did you? I said, yes, I did. And instead of being happy, he was, a little bit irritated. He said, oh, he said, well, I'll blame myself, meaning him. But he said, there's an old saying that I follow in this lab, and I guess I've never told you, if the readings are going well, let's continue to let the machinery and the intricate processes work so that in turn, every time you restart something or replace parts, you have to adjust and all that. And so he was hoping to get the advantage of that goodwill so after that, I learned that I would consult with him, even though almost every time he said, yes, go ahead, go ahead. But I've always thought that. And I think that in the world of the church, sometimes people want to fix things that aren't necessarily in need of repair. That's why the Orthodox Church continues the same faith revelation, salvation, uh, uh, dogmas and all that Christ and the Spirit of God have discerned to us. We don't make up things as we go. We don't redefine gender. We don't re redefine marriage. We don't have to use all the different things that people are insisting we do today. Why? It gives them power, but it distorts the ultimate truth. Because when you tinker with one little thing, there's a chain reaction. 
So having shared some of my past, and in this case the word um, uh, membrane, the uh, way that membranes act, you know, even in childbirth, we saw two pregnant women yesterday. But you know, the, in the placenta, that's a membrane. And there's flow back and forth of the nutrients. And it's a delicate biochemical dynamic process is going. We can think that we know all these things, but God created the ultimate and has given us the envision to help. So I think that going back now, why I gave that expression, don't fix it, it's not broken, is the Emperor Diocletian did exactly that. His empire was going pretty well. He had succeeded in getting rid of all of the uh, outside invaders. And then he decided to turn his thoughts inward to the people. He decided the people needed to be purged. And the only way to purge them of their different ways of behavior, remember we didn't have cancel culture there, but in effect he was. He said, I'm canceling all faiths outside of the worship of me and the gods that I choose. Okay. Now, I guess he didn't realize that by trying to fix that, and you know why he wanted to do that? He thought it would unify the people and unite them in a common creed if everybody had to worship the same way. Sound familiar today? That's why don't panic, because God always takes care of the faithful. So he started planning. He had three serious meetings with his generals to eradicate the force of the areas that were strongest in Christian faith. And George, our saint that we're remembering today, whose feast day is usually the 23rd, but we carry it over to today if it happens during Lent, um, he was disturbed. So he went, and he's an, he, he, this is a great trait. Instead of complaining to all his peers about his authority figure he didn't like because they don't have courage when you do that. He had courage. And he went to the emperor and he said, I detest, I refuse to do that. And I'm sharing this with you one-on-one -on -one out of respect. Another nice thing, instead of waiting till the, everybody's around to complain, he did it privately. And the emperor said, I beg your pardon, so to speak. And he said, I'm not going to do that. And he said, you will do that, and I'm going to have you arrested. And he had one of his favorite generals or, uh, 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 soldiers, leaders arrested and placed a huge boulder on his chest for a day. That was his first of his tortures. And uh, after 24 hours, he was brought in, and he said, now have you seen the light of day? Are you going to worship me and the gods? And he said, absolutely not. And then he had other tortures. He was put on a wheel like St. Catherine with the little uh, uh, blades on it so that as it rotated, it caused slivers and slices of his skin. He was put in a pit. He had countless things going on. The emperor was determined to make an example of George. Perhaps that's what some of the world leaders who are such despots are doing today. They will continue to kill, rape, maim, destroy just so they can get their way. It's not new. We just see the opportunity today to be modern day saints. We talked to some of those yesterday. And even though Galena said, well, you know, technically Andriana is not a refugee, so she worked there. I had told her privately, I said, well, you could say it, but in our culture, if you're forced to leave your home, otherwise you might die and you're not free to go back, and all your things are now destroyed, I call that a refugee. So Galena's a, a brilliant person. I admire her greatly, but I wanted to be sure that we understood they are, they fled from their area to be safe. And as she put out, five million people just from that one conflict, not to mention Syria, not to mention uh, in China, all the things going on around the world. And so George ultimately, was martyred. Mark was martyred. And uh, Mark had one other attribute that I wanted to lift up. Not only was he a follower of Paul, they did part ways for a while. Some suggest they may have had a disagreement, but he never really, uh, it wasn't uh, 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 really serious thing. 
he just decided he wanted to be closer to his home. But then he was called to Rome, and he visited Peter. And that's where most of the testimony of Mark's gospel comes from, is in his exchanges with the apostle Peter, since remember I told you Mark was not a follower or disciple of Jesus. So I've said a lot. Let me reduce it just a key point. Sometimes life gives us interesting detours and interesting opportunities to volunteer, to study, to serve, to work, even to have fun with. And I think that's what we call the Spirit of God is at work when we are called then to connect all the different dots and to allow them to honor God. And I share with President Ted on the way home, yesterday was very beautiful as well as, well, every day. But one unexpected surprise is that when Galena and I were discussing with her friends about doing what we did at the Agape Vespers, I never really had thought about what I ended up doing at the end, which was to uh, ask them to stay on and to personally greet each person. And uh, I regret, Susan, I missed the uh, um, Easter egg hunt because I support it. On the other hand, I was in here, and by the time we finished, well, they were finished. But I had asked one of our parishioners, who's new, Demetrius, if he would sh take the picture and share of the heralds of the gospel. And later in the afternoon, he says, Father, I took this video of the Easter egg hunt, and would you like to see it? And not only did I want, I could have just seen it, said, that's nice. But I shared with Susan this morning, I put it on the website for everybody. It's seven minutes. So did I really miss it? Well, physically, yes. But it's like the writings of St. Mark and the heroic efforts of St. George that have been written. There are other opportunities to find out what's going on without your being in the middle of everything, thinking that you have to be everywhere always. A very reassuring thing. So it's beautiful. You see the, in fact, when I was trying to explain to them, I had overlooked knowledge, acknowledging their Easter egg. I didn't realize he was recording, so uh, skip that at the end. It's nice, but I mean, it's just, it was a personal conversation. But he got it all. So where does that leave us? Let's leave the door of our soul open today, in fact, every day, and realize that a well-educated Roman uh, leader, uh, army leader, uh, used his talents, ostensibly his military talents, to serve Rome, but then they were transcended to serve God. And St. George is not just a saint for those of us who have that blessing of his name. St. George should be a poster uh, 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 hero for all of us when we are under stress and torment from outside and evil forces because if we can understand what motivated him, in turn, it will be like healing balm for us to be able to overcome. And the same thing is true about Mark. While he wasn't the best educated of the uh, evangelist, he got the effort done. And you know where he ended up? Yes. Which continent? Hint. Africa. He was the first bishop of Alexandria. Remember, Alexandria was formerly like before Rome or Athens, the grandeur. It had all of the great writings. It had the library. People today think Africa is a barren country. They have no idea of church history when they don't, when they don't realize that St. Mark brought the good news there. So after Peter was martyred, he traveled, and having been taught by Peter, Barnabas, and uh, Paul, he used that. That's a theme, too, I've tried to sort of plant seeds today. He used the talents that God gave him to bring Christianity to the African continent. And for that, there are many Christians throughout the history, particularly in the upper part of the continent, that belong to the Orthodox Church, and then likewise the Catholic, because the Catholics and Orthodox were united at that time, and they recognized him. So lots to ponder. And again, I could have just spoken about St. George, but the theme that I'm trying to leave with you today is let's sort of mix ingredients um, and see what goes well 
with what we have. And if it doesn't go well, then we just either uh, uh, not use that one talent that we'd like to use today and let somebody else have the uh, focus and the attention, and then that all comes together. And as I'm thinking that, uh, it was my goal, I failed, but I was going to make you a beautiful lemon cella and uh, lemon uh, dessert cake that I had read about during Great Lent, um, and I was going to cut that at the end of today's service. It has great ingredients. It's completely gluten-free. Uh, not that that's important to me, but it is important to others. But it has almond flour, the beautiful Italian liqueur limoncella, uh, zest of organic lemons, um, almonds. It just makes you... And why do I end with food? That, my friends, is the aroma, the vision that I hope that you're seeing from these two saints. The sweetness of their soul. Not so much human food, but the idea that it's tempting, it's delectable, it's something that is so good we want to do what? Share it. Through the prayers of St. Mark and St. George on this blessed feast of the Lord, uh, that, the day, that this great day the Lord has made, we ask for uh, uh, prayers for healing, for peace, and also for the salvation of our souls. And in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Etiquette in the Rini to carry you with a woman. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. O Pussy Portocratus, Supandita, Philatomini, Sivoxan, and a Pemblemen, to Patrica, to Ayoka, to you, Penevatin, Inke, I, case to Seonas, to Neono. Kyrios of Heros, and Kibasili of Tu, Hondo Tenin Kei Kais to Seonas Toneono. May the Lord our God remember all of us in His kingdom, always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen.
Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy house and for those who entered with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O 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 For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. And let us ask for a Christian into our life, peaceful, without shame and suffering, for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another that with oneness of mind we may confess. I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my foundation, my refuge, and my deliverer. Holy Spirit, Trinity, one in essence, and Tastiras, Tastiras, sin Sophia proscomen. Viste voi sen ante on patera pando gratua, piti nura nunte gis raton de pandon caratum. Ei sen anki dionis un Christon toni on puti uto monigni, tonektu patros genitenda pa pandon toni onon. Tos ek patros te onon et non ek te ua et non genitenda upi tenda umusion to patridu ta panda geneto. Tundi mastu santropus pidiati nimiteron soteriam, katathonda ek tronon, kesarpotenda ek pneumatus arhiu ti Maria ti sportenu ka antropisenda. Stavrosenda te perimone pribandiu pilatu ke pasonda ek katafenda. Ke anastata ti driti bera katatas rapaz, ke anelthonda ek sasuranus, ke kathesomen andeksion tu patros ke palmer komen metodoxis, krine zondas ke neklus, utis vasilias uti este telos. Christo Pneuma, Tu Aion, Tu Tirion, Tu Zotion, Tu Ectu Patros, Ec Parevomenon, Tu Sipatriti, Osi Prosinumenon, Que Sintoxazomenon, Tu Alalisas, Diatum Procton. Ismien, Aien, Catholicin, Que Apostolicin, Ecclesiam, Molovon, Vaptis, Maesapis, Amatron, Prosdoka, Anastis, Necron, Que Zoitu, Melon, Tu Sionus, Amin. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand in all, let us be attentive that we present the holy offering in peace. A mercy, a peace, a sacrifice, a praise. 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is proper and right. Ton epinikionim singing the triumphal hymn, exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying. Together with these blessed powers, Master, who loves mankind, we also <coughs> exclaim and say, Holy are you and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and most holy and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. When he had come and fulfilled for our sake the entire plan of salvation on the night in which he was delivered up, or rather when he delivered himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands in giving thanks and blessing. He hallowed and broken and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Likewise, after partaking of the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Piet except upon this to to esti to amum to tis kinesi atikis toi perimon ke pelonge hiromenon isaf sermartion. Remembering therefore this saving commandment that all has been done for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, and the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand, and the second glory is coming again. Your own of your own, we offer to you in all and for all. Once again, we offer you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we beseech and pray and entreat you to send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented and make this bread the precious body of your Christ Amen. and that which is in this cup the precious blood of your Christ, Amen. changing them by your Holy Spirit so that they may be to those Amen. who partake of them for visions of soul. Remission of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fullness of the kingdom of heaven, boldness before you, not for judgment and condemnation. Can we offer you the spiritual worship of those who have reposed in the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriots, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, and prophetics, and for a righteous spirit and perfect and faith? Exeretus dis Panagia, Sahrandri Perablo Yemenis and Doxu, the Spini Simon Teotoku, Pertano Marias, for St. John the Prophet, for the Baptist, for the Holy Word, most praised with the Apostles, for St. Christopher, St. George, the victorious martyr, trophy bearer, and St. Mark, the Apostle Evangelist, whose may we celebrate today, and for all your saints whose supplications, please, O God, and of all the fallen saints, the hope of the resurrection, eternal life, and all the fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, grant them rest, O God, for the light of the countless keeps watch. Again, we beseech you, Lord, remember all of the Bishops who rightly teach the word of your truth, the president of it, the action in Christ, and every priest of the monastic order. Church and for those who live in pure and reverent lives, for civil authorities and armed forces, and can be governed peace, Lord, so that in their tranquility we can live calm and serene lives and all piety and virtue. Great is the name of the Holy Trinity, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Among the first, remember, Lord Archbishop Alexius, grant him to your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health, and the length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. 
And remember those whom each one of us has in mind and all the people. And all the people. Remember, Lord, this city in which we live in every city and land and the faith who live in them. Remember, Lord, those who travel by land, sea, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation. Remember those who bear fruit and do good works in your holy churches and those who are mindful of the poor and upon us all send forth your mercies. Que dosimin en nisto mati que mi acordia doxas in canin nin to pandibon que megalopet pes on a masu to patros que tu yuk tu pneb matos nin que ai que estu se onas tone onon. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy and celestial mystical altars and offering spiritual fragrance, May in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our heart God. To you, O Lord. And grant us, Master, with boldness and without condemnation to dare call you the Heavenly God, Father, and to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. Through the grace, compassion, love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together all holy, good, and life creating spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Proskomen taya tisayis, the holy gifts for the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is apportioned and distributed, apportioned but not divided, ever eaten it, never consumed, but sanctifying those who partake. In Tutonika, in the sign of the cross, we shall be victorious. Blessed for your saints always, now, and forever, and to the age of ages. Amen. The warmth of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Theos, last to Timmy to my floor, clay so may. O God, be gracious to me, the sinner, and have mercy upon us. O Theos, last to Timmy to my floor, clay so may. Brothers and sisters in Christ, forgive those who hate us and those who love us. 
Behold our purge Christ, our mortal King and God. The precious, most holy body of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, is given to me, Georgian, and worthy priest, for the forgiveness of my sins and eternal life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Behold, I approach Christ, our mortal King and God. The precious holy blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ is given me, George, and worthy preach the goodness and eternal life. In the, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is touch my lips, take away my transgressions, and cleanse my sins. <coughs> Wash away, Lord, by your good Metaphovutu pisius kegapis prosautete. With fear of God, with faith, and with love, draw near. Receive me to the O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Exalted O God above the heavens and let your glory be over all the earth. Be exalted O God above the heavens and let your glory be over all the earth. Be exalted O God above the heavens and let your glory be over all the earth. Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, into the ages of ages. Having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, mortal, heavenly life, creating all the mysteries of Christ, 
Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. We give thanks to you, Master, who loves mankind, benefactor of our souls, that even on this very day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, fortify us in your fear, guard our life, make secure our steps through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever remain of all your saints. For you are sanctification, and to you we give glory, to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord, who blesses those who bless you and sanctifies those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by our divine power and forsake us not who have set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces, to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and to the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ our God, you are the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. You have fulfilled the Father's entire plan of salvation. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness always, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, from this time forth and to the ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord and His mercy come upon you by His divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God, our hope, Lord. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy Master, give the blessing. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercession of his all pure and all immaculate Holy Mother, the power of the precious and light giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet and front John the Baptist, of the Holy Glorious and praise with the apostles, including Saint Mark, the evangelist of the Holy Glorious and triumphant martyrs of our righteous and God bearing fathers, of Saint Chris the Martyr. Of our Father among the saints, John Christus, John March, Priest of Constance, and Opus, Divine Liturgy, we celebrated. Of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna. Of St. George the Victorious, uh, and uh, Martyr and Trophy Bearer, whose memory we celebrate today. And of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is a good God who loves all. Christos Anesti. Christos Voskresi. Christ is risen. Aistinu voskresi is the response for the Christos voskresi. If you say that one, it covers many of our Slavic brethren, whether they're Serbian, um, Russian, Bulgarian, and the ones that use Church Slavonic. That's why I always like to include that one. Let's do that again. Christos voskresi. Bravo. Christ, glory to his holy resurrection on the third day. Christ is risen from the dead by death, trampled upon death, and bestowing life to those in the tombs. Alithos anesti o kyrios. You know how we know to do that? You keep your holy book handy, holy week book handy for the bright week. Uh, as I said before, every day of Bright Week is considered a Resurrectional Sunday liturgy. It's a little bit unusual, so you notice the Orthros. Um, and George, thank you for uh, yeah, yeah, thank you for uh, helping us today. I hope you can help us Friday for that liturgy as well. Um, but every day we change the tone. So today was the first tone. Tomorrow will be the second tone, and, and so forth. It's a very unique week and one filled with joy. Uh, so may God bless us. And you know, one of the things that I discovered as you're coming forward, you don't have to wait, you can come forward, 
is that sometimes people leave things behind. And remember I discovered the flowers that no, everybody was afraid to touch, and then I just brought them out, and the person who gave them said, oh, thank you, I just wanted to give an anonymous gift. Um, but anyway, I found these carnations in the beer refrigerator. What? We, well, that's all we keep in that refrigerator is beer. But I was looking for my rose petals, and they stuck my rose petals from Saturday night in the beer, so that's why I think they were so happy. They were very loose and relaxed. No disrespect intended, but, you know, we see what we see, and if outsiders come in and happen to see the refrigerator, you can't help but wonder what they're going to think. So I just go ahead and admit the uh, opportunities we have to maybe rearrange. But anyway, in the carnation bowl here, there's no stems. Uh, they uh, ended up just putting them here. And I had originally intended to give them to the proclaimers of the gospel yesterday, and I forgot. So today I'm going to give those to you as a witness. And then likewise, I'm going to put this basket of eggs. Let's put it on this side so we keep the flow going. We hope everybody takes one egg as a symbol of the resurrection and also because they have been out now two days, I recommend that we each receive more than one. And if you want, email me because uh, late last night I found a recipe from Diane Conquilas is how she says her name but Cachillas is how most of us know her. Uh, she's from the island of Ikaria, where the people live to be about 100 on average. A very healthy Greek chef. And so she shared last night a recipe on using all of her paschal eggs that may need to be used, and it's Brenda's favorite recipe, chicken, sa chicken no, egg salad. And so if you need a good egg salad that's authentic from somebody who's lineage comes and knows how to cook it or prepare it so that you can still live long uh, in spite of the cholesterol, let me know and I'll send it to you. Uh, I have no relation to her, but our new family, the Mavro Filipos, does actually know her and uh, um, Dimita is from her island also. So it's sort of a small world, so thank you so much. And we thank Becky and Presbytera for the beautiful pros for the day. We're not going to throw them away. We're going to give them. And if you do likewise, put them in a little bowl at home. You can do that. And notice when you pass, it's the last time. I love flowers, and uh, the florist that designed those for me, I told her I'd like it to last about half a week, and they've lasted for uh, more than a week, a week and a half. And notice how God gives us beauty, even as things are getting old, those purple tulips. Notice what direction they're going. They're bowing. And I took a picture today. I couldn't resist. I was waiting on the hot water. So I thought, well, I have time to take a picture. And they're bowing towards now the gospel. They were bowing towards the body and blood of Christ. But you know, the Orthodox, we, in addition to white, we use yellow and we have those. And I was hoping that they would last through today to remind us of not only the passion, but then the happiness and joy of the resurrection. So, Christos Anesti, go and make disciples and have happy name days, George. And did not, everybody didn't get to say it to uh, Nostos?